Hey everybody, this is Dave. You know, I've been talking about this road trip upcoming down to uh, Louisiana, about two weeks out, so now we need to start getting ready for the trip. Been over in the trunk getting things, I'll show you what I've done. Got the tire aired up, made sure it had plenty of air in it. Brought my tools here, I got my satchel, and I got all the essential tools, I guess you'd say, in there. Shop tiles, never know. Of course, got to, got to have jumper cables. Uh, emergency, what is that, all-weather travel kit? That's something the wife threw it in for me. Thank you. Got me a jack. Make sure it jacks the car up. Got a four-wheel lug wrench over there. So I get those lug nuts off. Got to kind of think of all these things that's going to come up. Going to bring my come along, you know. I'm, I'm being prepared in case I have to pull this thing up on a trailer. I got something to do it with. And I got all the car cleaning equipment because it's probably going to get dirty between here and there. Another little thing I've been working on is my tripod here. Uh, the camera base that holds it onto the tripod uh, was missing. It's a little square right here, so shoot, I got me a piece of wood and I sawed it out. Drill me some holes in it so to hold it on there and uh, it works just fine. It'll, it'll do the job. So I'm getting ready y'all. It's time to uh, check the wheel bearings so uh, they get me a jack out, jack it up. See what they look like. Jack. Another side. Where's the jack? Yeah. 
These car keys are sometimes hard to get out because they're bent, not true, straight. So you have to work on it a little bit. But they will come out with a little persuasion. Just like that. Now. There you go. Job done. Go around to the other side. A little tighter working space over here in this old garage, but feel just a little slight bump in that. I'm gonna pull it down and check it anyhow. Check that nut, that uh, bearing, just take the nut completely out, off. Get the tire a wiggle, bearing pops right out. It's got plenty of grease on it, I'm good with that. Put it right back up. In reverse order of what you just did. Good and tight there. Put the cotter key back in. Whatever we did with it. Oh, there it is. There you go. And that's all it is to that part of the job. Second like part's put your tools up. Remember what I always said? Keep them wiped off. Does they wiped or wiped? Keep them wiped off and clean. Don't take much to do that. Be clean for you next time you use them, right? We're going to go ahead and we're going to check some more stuff under the hood here in a second, so stay with me. Take two. There, that's better. You know all the basics, right? We checked the water, we checked the oil, we checked the power steering fluid. Just look over. 
You know, I'm going to take me some water with me in a jug. Just for being safe. Never can tell. You know, ever since I built this motor, it has not used a drop of oil. Pretty good. Come on, get in the hole. There it is. I'm a stickler for cleaning. I guess you know that, don't you? I like it clean. Power steering, I know it's don't leak, so it should be. Yep. Right up to the cold mark. There was a cold mark and a hot mark in this thing. There. Getting closer every day. I think that pretty well does it for today. You know, I'm not finished, that's for sure. But all I can do right now to get a little closer. Gonna be a good trip, I believe. At least we hope it is. <laughs>